Uh, somebody asked me a question, emailed me, um, basically asking me if the if a black belt is a false sense of security. <clears throat> and um, I feel that in many cases it is. Um, I see that all a black belt is really is just basically the approval of the school instructor or the school or whatever um, system that's being propagated is just uh, the approval and recognition that this person has achieved this black belt status is uh, capable to a certain extent in properly defending themselves and they got the basic uh, understanding of self-defense and they should be able to apply it on a basic level to defend themselves but because the standards are so because the standards are not consistent throughout a lot of uh, different styles and different schools um, it almost ends up having not much of a value to it you know because the way that I see it is that things change time as, as, as you know as time passes things change people change people's abilities change and their um you know people always get older their physical their physical is not forever um, healthy and um, the status of the black belt is something that I feel needs to change with change and if it does not change with change, it defeats the purpose of what it's meant to represent. Um, I see that just because somebody has a black belt doesn't necessarily mean that they are capable um, and proficient in their way of self-defense or if they really even understand the philosophy behind the martial arts. You know, because if you have a school owner that has low standards for himself, then he's just going to breed students that also will um, represent low standards within the martial arts. And because so many school owners are just basically giving people, so many people these rankings and these black belts it loses its value um, when it's just out there to be sold um, like a pair of shoes like a pair of expensive shoes um, just because a person buys uh, a pair of expensive Jordans for example doesn't mean that he can play basketball like Michael Jordan um, and essentially that's what I see that's going on with the black belt is that people um, it, the black belt is out there for sale from a lot of martial arts schools and it's just being used as a way to profit and it's not really indicating um, true talent and skill within um, a person's expression in the martial arts and even if it is indicating true talent and skill it's not forever it's not something that is that that um that does not have to be maintained and just like a car I mean a car doesn't last forever you know you keep driving the car and if you don't take care of the car it could break down within a couple years it could break down in five years if you take care of the car it might you know it might last for 10 years 15 years but the body is like your car if you don't take care of your car you don't take care of your body you're not going to be able to properly represent martial arts to the highest level. Even somebody who's very skillful in the martial arts and does have a black belt, say he's some, you know, so skillful that he's comparable to somebody like um, um, D. Rose, Derek Rose from uh, Chicago Bulls. And Derek Rose is considered a very good basketball player, but even he himself um, got injured and tore his ACL. And then he's no longer, during the time of his injuries, no longer considered a great basketball player because he's injured. 
And essentially that could happen to a martial artist where he's at a high level of expression, but then he loses his abilities because his kneecap's broken. Or, um, or you know, whatever is wrong with them, his ankle's broken or his, his wrist is broken. Um, it severely limits his ability to, um, you know, express his art and his, and, and his ability to defend himself. You know, and um, martial arts is not just like obtaining a college degree where it's all mental and it's just based on the memorization of fixed knowledge. Martial arts is also about the physical expression of it. And if you cannot properly uh, express it physically due to your inability to maintain your physical wellness, then you're no longer at a high level. So I see that the martial art black belt in a way is uh, many times being, you know, poorly represented and um, it's providing a false sense of security for a lot of people out there. Now, more of a real sense of security are, you know, if somebody has a firearm and he knows how to properly use it, then it could give him a more of a realistic sense of personal security, knowing that he has that as a tool for self-defense. Um, but if his wrist is broken or his trigger finger is broken or he can't properly operate that firearm, then he will lose this sense of security because he won't be able to operate it or if this firearm gets taken away from him because really even if you do have a firearm it doesn't necessarily mean that you're always going to have access to it so you you will not be able to go into the le legally go into the airport with the firearms so then you lose that sense of security for that time being um, you won't be able to go to the courthouses with it so you lose that sense of security for that time being um, if somebody steals your firearm from you then you'll lose that sense of security um, there's a lot of restrictions of where you can and cannot go with this firearm. Um, if you run out of ammunition and you're during a and you're engaged in, in a life-threatening situation, you'll lose your your sense of security. Um, so the firearm is essentially, in a way, almost representing uh, the unarmed version of the of the black belt, where uh, you feel that your body has gotten to a certain level and, and that you're skills and technique is at a certain level in the combat that you feel that you're capable of defending yourself in great danger but once you don't main properly maintain your body um, and you're not physically healthy because you're not f you know physically fit or you're just not taking care of your body then you'll lose that 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 special talent and that skill that gives you that inner confidence in knowing that you could take care of a dangerous situation um, if need be you know so I see that I see that you know the martial art belts it's 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 best to do away with it and to humble yourself and see that you always have much to learn I see that people um, that stay in the, the the state of mind of being a a white belt or beginner is better for their their inner growth, their spiritual growth, and their uh, even their physical growth, even their mental growth. And that you know, as far as a reliable way of uh, real self defense, um, I see that we should be researching the law and seeing what the law will allow. If the law allows firearms, then that's gonna be the most proficient and efficient way of self-defense. And whatever the law does allow, if the, if the law allows nunchucks or swords, then we need to use that as a way of self-defense. If the law allows absolutely no weapons whatsoever, then we will have to rely on our bodies um, as self-defense, turning our bodies into a lethal weapon. But turning your body into a lethal weapon in involves a lot of hard work and maintain, maintenance. Um, I see that, you know, clearly through the time that I'm training people and through my time living um, and training that um, it's very difficult to achieve your goal, but it's very easy to lose it. So, meaning you could, you know, like it might take five years to become highly physically fit, 
but you could lose that those five years of hard work in in merely three months um, or six months of inactivity and um, just laziness and uh, the demotivation of improving yourself. So basically, the reason why I say this is because the truth is that things change and life there's always change you know it's never stagnant and you know things are always changing and that's why these black belts they cannot adequ adequately represent this change they just cannot um, so it's I see that it's best to in a way do away with the entire system altogether